You're a talker. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. Hello and welcome to the Other Side Pro- Podcast, brought to you by yeah. Gamers of Diversity. You got something to say already, guy in the chair? Go ahead. Go ahead. You want me to do it again? You want me to try it again? <laughs> no, it again? go <laughs> Or do you want to do it? I'll let you do it. How about that? You know what? Let's let's, let's start off. How about you do it? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh man! No, you got it, man. You got it. Nah, Other side you, podcast. You 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 already got something to say? Go ahead. You do it. Hey, hey, hey! All right. So welcome to the Other Side Podcast. Um, that was uh Rich Quick. Mm-hmm. I'm Kyle P. Uh, the the guy in the chair and the guy setting it off. Mm-hmm. For uh, our big show mm-hmm. during uh, these pressing times, mm-hmm. so uh, we're gonna turn it back over to Rich Quick so he can start his rant and rave on our topic today. GameStop is permanently closing. GameStop permanently closing. Uh, I don't know how many locations, but all their locations. And how long have we been saying this? Uh, two years. Uh, yeah, we already knew that they these guys were science. They was right behind Blockbuster. <laughs> hmm. Mm. It's like they say it was a it was a white rabbit going into a a black hole. It was going to right. happen. You know. So, what's your overall thought so far on that? Just a, well, a, quick, a quick view. So, I assume I hear the water running. Uh, quick is actually washing his hands. He's practicing some good hygiene right now. I and am. We fry, we fry some chicken. One mm-hmm. or two is going on. Either or is good. But, as far as GameStop goes, you know... I already seen death knocking at their door. It just seems that this is expediting it a little bit quicker, and they're going to just go out um, permanently almost. I mean, like they got closures of 320 stores globally uh, um, in the fiscal year of uh, 2019, and they saw the sales drop by 26% in the fourth quarter. So they are pretty much in a dire situation right now. I don't know what they could do to turn this around. I mean, I used to go to GameStop when I was when I was younger. I used to be a manager at Funko Land before it was GameStop. <laughs> so, hey, man, I have a history <laughs> with the place. You were a so, manager at Funko Land? <laughs> yeah. When I was younger? Yeah. Hey, man, you got, to, you got to take games home for free. You had to play oh, so all you, the new releases. You, you were stealing. Yeah, you were stealing. That's what you're saying. You were stealing. One of the policies where you can take home one game. Mm. That sounds fake to me. Whatever you say, my friend. Whatever that you sounds say. fake. So, but okay. So what is it you think about? What is it? GameStop's getting smaller. So what do you think about that? Oh, ha, ha, ha. It's not funny when the rabbit has the gun now, motherfucker. Mm. But all those years of giving me two dollars for a game I bought twenty seconds ago. Ha, mm. ha, ha, ha. Again, it's not funny when the rabbit has the gun. So sad. That's what I say. So 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 sad. Um, to me, they're just like Blockbuster, as you said in the beginning. There, mm. they were an old company, not evolving with the climate that they're in, you know, and they kind of deserve what was going on. The coronavirus kind of put them out, you know, um, you know, just from, you know, you've been, to, you go to GameStop, right? You go buy a game, bam, you just, you just try to buy a game. They got five mm-hmm. questions for you before you can even pay you want a warranty you want to reserve a new game you know just a bunch of quite their customer service was horrible <laughs> like it, i'm just annoyed at that point like oh man i just want the game Can you please right. stop trying to sell me on a dlc and all this and all that mm-hmm. if i wanted that stuff 
I would have said it. I mean, well, I think I think digital, the digital download era is just like smothering them. That's one of the one of the smother yeah. like the cohort facts is just squeezing the life out of them slowly. Mm-mm. No, I mean I believe that's true, but they they also could have been proactive and and offered better things to have mm-hmm. physical copies like you know where every game you purchase you get 10% off the DLC or you get a a free controller i mean not a controller a free poster with the game you know something they mm-hmm. they could have came up with something to cuz personally i like physical copies but I can mm-hmm. give you three examples of, of, of why they're going out of business. I went there to buy, and this was within the last year, I went there to get four different games. I got mm-hmm. in my car, and I drove there, even though I could have bought it online. But I was like, you know what? I want a physical copy. And plus, I want to get out and just you know go in the store and look around. Right. You know, I went there. I said, hey. Hey guys, do you have Marvel Ultimate Ultimate Alliance Three? It came out yesterday. You know what they told me? No, we don't have it unless you reserved it. I said, "What? It just that's came pretty, out yesterday." That's usually how it goes, though. <laughs> it just came out yesterday, and but, but what I'm saying is, I'm like, that's ridiculous. I'm like, mm-hmm. how do you don't have that? I was like, now I got to go to Target and give Target my money. I, and I mm. told the guy, that's why you're going out of business. Mm. Oh, we only ordered enough copies to cover the reserves. I like, that doesn't make sense. Why well, wouldn't you have at least 20 other copies for people just coming in and buying the game? That's one game. Fire Emblem, same thing. I went there, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Could I get the new Fire Emblem? Oh, I'm sorry, man. If you didn't reserve it, I can't sell it to you. Again, that's why you're going out of business. Now I got to go to Walmart and get my game. I'm still getting a physical copy, but I'm getting it from a different store. Right. Right. Number three. Hello. Do you guys have control uh, for PlayStation? Yes. It's a... it's uh, fifty nine ninety nine. I like, but it's mm. on sale. But it's on sale at PlayStation, at PlayStation Plus for thirty bucks. You guys are not met. You guys are not price matching what they're doing. No, mm. we're not. Unfortunately, I said, "Wow, well, I'm just gonna go buy it at home." Then. I came out here to give you my business. You know, it's too many no's. Mm. No, no, no. Um, that's not good, man. I mean, what do you think? Do you think I'm overreacting about this, or do you think? What do you well, think? no, those have been the the problems that always existed. So, so let's let's just look at it like this: What do you think they could do outside of like you know, just keep expanding upon what you were saying with like the posters and everything? What is it? I mean, I think they need something revolutionary. And that exists out there, actually. They don't have to reinvent the wheel. I think there's something out there they, they can do or they can partner up with for somebody to actually save what's left of the business. Or maybe it is better that they, they downsize and they just run out of certain locations. You know what I mean? And yeah. just, max, you know, just be that, you know, that retro type place that, you know, offers odd goods on top of games. You know what I mean? Just instead of trying to be everywhere at one time, you know, I think they might do a little bit better like that. And then like try to re, you know, reestablish where a direction, like a a real direction of where to go, like with your business. I mean, they're going to have to, they're going to have to evolve, like a little Pokemon. You know what I mean? They're in the Pikachu stage. They're trying to get to that Raichu stage. (laughs) They're still in the Pikachu stage. Like, Everybody else is evolving, man, and like you know, Pikachu can just hang on for so long. <laughs> it gets like he's not going to beat Charizard all the time. It's not going to happen. So that's how I look at it. Um, so you you don't think that's just bad practice? Like you go to buy a game and they don't have it. Like that's the whole point of you guys being open. Like what is you? Well, maybe they're. They, in the I mean, internally, <laughs> internally, you know how we we uh you know we in the restaurant industry. Internally, 
they should have a system internally just, you know, order enough games. If this location doesn't have it, you go, you know, you go from, you go to the other GameStop and get their copies. Right. You know how you exchange product and share it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it should be something like that, but you know, I don't even go out that much to buy games. And the, the three times I went, you guys told me no. I'm like, well, this is why you're going out of business. I think they should be, you know, I think I think they should be more so in the competitive realm. You know what I mean? I think they should right. drop in, like, I don't know, like sponsor some teams or something like that and get into the, I mean, competitive gaming is pretty big. I think they should have had a foothold in that. And like, just kind of like GameStop kind of transition into the secondary, like their merchandising transition to be like a secondary thing. And them to they just get into like the the realm of, you know, competitive gaming, um, maybe turn out like a David Busters type of thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, they don't have to have the food, but they can have like, you know, something else to go on. I mean, there's all types of ways they can kind of like do that. I mean, but to me, mm-hmm. being stationary is not going to help you. And you can't match all the sales. Like, like Steam has sales all the time. Microsoft has sales all the time. PS has sales all the time. So they can't really compete with that. You know what I mean? So they're going to have to... I mean, they have to think outside the box. I mean, I don't know. They haven't been doing too well. Like, mm-hmm. selling your Apple phones and right. like that. So it's just like they just turn into a bootleg place. I mean, they start to get a little better mm-hmm. with merchandising, some shirts, some cool shirts, little plushies they, and stuff like that. That's cool, but they should. They should have been. been they should have been selling comics out out of there too. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they sold comics. They'd have been. They'd have been a lot better off. I thought about that too. They should have sold. Like, I don't think they 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 thrive off of having like small locations so it's just so much comics you can put in there but they could have had like a little wall of like and follow like certain series you know what i mean like you know right i think they definitely would have sold some comics man for sure yeah they for definitely sure. should have been selling yeah. comics out of there um i think it's a, it's a ton of things they could have done you know they could you know you got their little subscript you know their little loyalty program Man, if you're a part of their loyalty program, they should have been making banging deals right. out of that loyalty program. Right. You know what I mean? You, 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 like you pay this so much a month, and every time you buy a game here, you get the free DLC. You know right. what I'm saying? Like they could have did things like that, or you get like if you like say this, say um, a subscription to GameStop is uh, let's make it. 15 bucks a month but every game that you purchase in there you get all you get the season passes with all the games that you buy something you know you you could figure out something right you know like Mm -hmm. and it's something like that i would subscribe like damn i'm gonna get my game stop john if i get the season pass and everything right i don't know how they've been like you know i don't know who's in their little think tank or whatever it is but Whatever, I'm sure these ideas popped up, but somebody's swatting them down. <laughs> right. Sure we're not just popping these ideas out. I'm sure they have plenty of these ideas. Um, floating I don't want around, no magazine. No, I'm I don't cool want no on fucking that. magazine. Yeah. Right. I and want then, deals. Like, like, and who's like going to read the saying. digital subscription? I'm not trying to read that neither. I can go online and find the same content or whatever. I don't know, man. They messed up. They should have like expanded. I mean, it's still time, I think. For them to mm-hmm. to do something, but they gotta like they gotta regroup hard. I mean, and this is not helping them. Like, what's going on now? It's just not. Helping. And they messed up with their they they messed up with their trading policy. Too. They spoiled yeah, that, everybody mm-hmm. on that. You had to start giving better deals on your trade-ins. That you know, yeah, that, that was that, that messed yeah. y'all up. Uh, yeah, that definitely. See, that's where they went. Much yeah, wasn't li- they wasn't listening. It wasn't yeah, listening they, to the consumer. Yeah, you're right. Because people have been, we've been complaining for a long time about that, man. It's not right. saying you was revolving the door of like trade in and trade out, but it's just like, you know, you just can't, you know, I mean, give like cents on the dollar for like, you know, something that's like, 
dollars. I mean, like, I understand you're trying to make a profit, but man, you guys, are just Damn, no. right? Like, I just bought this game for sixty bucks, and you telling me well, I trade it back in, I get eighteen dollars. Like, what kind of shit is that? Yeah, it's like, rough. Just, that, no, bro. You're like, no, you gotta at least give me thirty or something. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it, on the on the on the down on the on the flip side of that, I did I knew people who took advantage of that policy of like the thirty day thing and the free, yeah. I knew people who would just play the game. A friend of mine all the time. Oh yeah, Tom used to do that. Always mm-hmm. play the game and take it back and get his money back before ex- the policy for before it expired. So he I would just the, be the little seven, the seven day journal, right? Like that, and yeah, it's the one like fourteen. Yeah, he had like he would just do it all the time, <laughs> and they couldn't say anything yeah. because of the policy. Yeah. So I mean, like, but that's their fault. They should have known that you know loopholes like that are going to get exploited straight away. So then now you have an open copy game doesn't really look like you know used. To be honest with you, something that leaves and it's open is played is used, and. You know, so and they're not selling it for use. It's like, oh, well, okay, <laughs> it's a new game. This is new, man. You know, so this is too much room for error. So I don't know, man. I just, I just think that they're they have to have some type of like slingshot, sling something to slingshot an idea that's going to stick within their company. I don't, I didn't see anything about the CEO or this is, yeah. Is it George Sherman? Um, he's still, I mean, I don't know how long he's been with him, but then I guess obviously he's been with him for a while. This is an unprecedented time. Each day brings new information. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't really say anything else about, hey, we want to do this, that, and the third. I mean, he is trying to address the health concerns and safety and everything that, like that. So I don't know. So that's, that's just hinder, another hindrance on them. Um, and it's just products getting shipped to people. People are not going to want, hey, you know what? This is not get physical copies. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's not good. I mean, they just got too much. Right. They got too much going on that's not in favor for them right now. So I don't know. There's nothing mm-hmm. else to really say about it. I mean, like, I don't know, man. You know, I like GameStop. You know, I don't, I don't want to see him go. Right. But I think they go, they're they going to do the Toys of Rest thing when they say they're gone, and then they're going to come back. Uh, well, I mean, they need something else. They need another foothold in somewhere else. You know, yeah. it's like it's like Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll, um, they're into the anime, right? But right. they do their own merchandise, and they have their own little merchandise they sell. And now they got their hands into creating anime. So, it's like they okay. have us. Why don't GameStop, get the, like I was saying, like they can get into the competitive area. area right. They, they can, can get their own app, you right. know, like, you know, do something like that. I don't know. They probably do got their own app, but like something that almost like a streaming service, like you described the GameStop, you're allowed to get three used games and for a certain price. You know what I'm saying? They could come up with something. They could, I don't know what it is. But. They could have been. They could have started making their own games. It's not like they didn't have no money. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got the mm. best lines. You know what I mean? It's like Geek City. You know what I mean? You can't right. tell, come up with a good game. Make your own games or something. Just or, like, all right, just, just off the top of my head, like if I was the owner of GameStop, I would come up with my own subscription service, 20 bucks a month. 20 bucks a month, you get you know, you get fifty percent off of used games, and we send you a free T-shirt every month. You know what I'm saying? Something like, oh, like that, like, like a loot crate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but had that, yeah, had that involved in it. Right, you know they could have did something, man. They could have did something to keep your consumers because you know I'm 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 in the physical copies. I like getting physical copies. Some people do, time. right? You know, and you could have had that subscription service going on. Like, yeah, you subscribe with us. Fifty percent of all used games, and if you buy new, you get a free warranty. Damn, how many people wouldn't sign up for that? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like they they didn't evolve with the times, just like Blockbuster. They just 
Think yeah. that you can nobody want that funky ass magazine every month. No, we want something that we can hold tangible things. Like I don't want no magazine. We want deals. Like Yeah, like this is the evolution stage. It's like you gotta constantly evolve. I mean, like, you know, technology is just coming out, this is coming out. It's like this at least you don't have to be like first at everything. I mean, if you're good, but at least be aware that something's going on and make some strides to move and to be able to be flexible. I mean, that's right. the whole point. And that's where they're falling short. Um, selling T-shirts and, and, you know, buying iPhones and selling iPhones. And you're starting to, you know, step outside. That's not games. That's like, yeah, that's not that's like pawn shop or some shit. Yeah, now you bringing in, you bringing in the wrong people then. Yeah, you're you're you definitely are. Yeah. for the games. You're bringing in the wrong, you're bringing in like crackheads and shit. Trying to right. Start the game. Like, exactly. So remember they wow. were selling, I remember a time they was taking in movies. You can trade in movies. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is starting to get, you know what I mean? It's just not staying on the course of where they're supposed to be at. I mean, like, if you want to trade in movies now, you get the Blu-ray. Um, yeah. It just seemed like a, like a, I don't know, like a little uh, look, a bizarre. And, <laughs> and, and just now, me thinking about, like, yo, if you if you subscribe, if you part of the subscription or whatever, like, when you trade in three games, give me a flat rate. I got three games, no matter what they are, you get 15 bucks, 20 bucks, mm. something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be having people trade in things and get nothing back because what's the point of having the, the trade in service when people this is how they feel like you're just getting over on them like i just bought a game mm. for 60 bucks how come i could only get ten dollars on the trade in that don't even make sense right either do that or stop doing the trades either one right i think they would have just been better just not just letting that trade in thing go like I said, it's just like, it just doesn't bring in, like, you know, this is not bringing in the right type of consumers. To me, it's just like somebody yeah. just... Bringing in the like, Right. Yeah, you don't want to keep haggling. You know what I mean? Even though there is no real room to haggle, the price is the price, but then you got to deal with that. And then it takes away from the other customers and stuff of who waiting in line. You know how you used to go to GameStop? You're like, I'm hoping I'm not getting behind the bull with the big bag. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. I'm trading all this in the day. Bloop. <laughs> He's just Bloop, up there. Right. I'm here for a half hour. Like, right. <laughs> you just got in Bro, there. I'm just My man about is games. trying to like you got to check the joystick. They got to plug the thing in and look for the scratches and like you know. Then they, they one guy the guy might say, "All right, after a half hour, no man, that's not the right price, man. That's getting more than that." You know what I mean? Then you gotta sit through that. Then once they process it, then they gotta put it away and everything like that. Sit it down, yeah. get the game, maybe some cash for the dude. Oh, you don't have your ID? You got your ID, sir? You know what I mean? And then they'll try mm -hmm. to settle a subscription. Do you have the subscription, sir? Oh yeah, like you know, you gonna be a part of the program? To, you know, be like, yeah, right. man, I spent forty five minutes in GameStop. Um, hey, do you got my game? And or they could be like you. You went in there and. Mm -hmm. Then you went to go get control. No, sir, you don't have it. <sighs> just moving on, too, right? It's just like, <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm and just like I back. said, I'm just trying to buy a game, and you got seven questions for me when I'm just trying to buy a game and dip. Like, That's you gonna get this? You gonna get that? Nah. No, my, I just want the game. Just right. give me the game, and I want to leave. Stop right. asking me questions. Exactly. It, it, it was too much after a while. Like I get it. You guys are trying to sell up, but that's not the, the right way to do it mm. when people are just trying to get their games and leave. Right. Yeah, man. So that's where it's at. That's where it's at. I mean, I mean, I don't know. It, 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 it's a sad sight. Mm. To watch GameStop leave, you know, it was previously what Funko Land. Yeah, it was originally Funko and, Land, and it's just, you know, like they need they need someone in there with a brain to come up with a new system. That's right. What they need. Yeah, Funko Land was a like that was way back in the nineties, like <laughs> like the early nineties. So like that was when you know what I mean you can go in, you know, you can play the latest game that might be sitting there, like little, you know, yeah. 
arcade box type of deal or just sitting on the counter. Mm-hmm. And it attracted people. People came in after school. You know, everybody would just talk crap. And it was like a place to hang mm-hmm. out. Yeah. And you knew you, you, were, you were going to buy your games there. And then, like, you know, you get to know the customers and the customers get to know you. You can make hold. Yeah, I'm going to hold that for you. You know what I mean? It was like a, it was like a, the hub. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry, I got you mm-hmm. type of deal. There was no digital downloads and nothing like that. It was like, you got to either get it here or get it there. And to make sure that you got it there, it'd be good. Like, you can haggle or you had a relationship with the manager type of person. Or the, or the, you know what I mean? It was cool mm-hmm. to work there because you could take games home. You didn't have to pay for nothing. It was just like, man, you could try out stuff. It was like, yo, those that's what the times were. But then slowly, the... You know, the digital age started coming around and then like, you know, you had platform you know, places like Steam and all that stuff start popping up, those streaming services over here. And before you know it, they was starting to get strangled, bro. It was like getting the cripple or cross faced. And then even the, you know, they mm-hmm. couldn't even get out of that. You know, they was trying to tap out, you know, reverse it. It just wasn't happening, man. So now, you know, they're just treading water, you know, in the big boy pool. That's all. They're in the big boy pool. And, well, I, I believe they, they, they should have, you know, done this a couple of years ago since, you know, since they wouldn't be so far behind. Absolutely. They should they should have been holding, like, esports things in their location. Right. You know, like, that's you know what, what I'm saying. Like, you, or promoting you gotta, them you gotta, and gotta, renting out a spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Like, you, right. You got to <sighs> evolve. Like, turn that little... You know, you know how they got Game Stops. You know, if you got one Game Stop, they're mm. they're like four within two miles of each other. Like, condense that into two locations, make them bigger, and then hold like esports things there. Right, or they could have partnered know, up with like you know Magic, yeah. Magic the Gathering, something. Yeah, and I'm surprised they don't really have like a YouTube channel. You know how they have like uh, everybody else has got like. YouTube channels and stuff like that. They stay up on it and they're like really touching base. You know what I mean? And like, and they're just out there like promoting the games and they're staying alive and they're not even selling that. <laughs> right. They're not even selling anything and they're out there. You know what I mean? Like Kotaku and um, stuff like that. GI. I'm like, these guys, they're out there just promoting. They're on social media, just videos and doing stuff like that, blogs and everything. And they're surviving. But these guys who had to, like, who were, like, first in line, just, you know what I mean? They're just, like, the West Coast video now. I mean, this is, like, shut the doors down, bro. Like, getting caught. I heard, like, you know, Blockbuster had opportunities in their time to, like, evolve or, like, you know what I mean, to change their whole structure. And they just didn't play them. So, I mean, that's what happens when you get stationary, man. You're not willing to, you know, you know, get ahead or evolve with the times. You're going to get left behind, man. So that's that. I think we trashed them enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> trashed them enough. Still there? Yep. Looks like we lost Rich. Mm. Sometimes that does happen with the network and everything like that, where he's on mute, taking a crap. But for that, on that note, we're just not going to draw it on out. I think I will end it for us. And you can catch us on Facebook. Not too much action on there, but you can catch us there. You can catch us on YouTube. You can catch us. Uh, let's see where else we have some podcasts of course um, on the platforms not on Apple or iTunes but we're on everything out so if Rich is not coming back you're not coming back well um, you there well on that note <laughs> we'll holler back